Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. I hope all of you will be fine. Today we are going to solve exercise of chapter number 7. The name of the chapter is Earth and its Resources. Tick the correct answer. Glass is made from soil, sand, salt, rubber and the answer is B. Sand. About what percentage of the earth's surface is land? 1%? 21%, 29%, 30% and C is the correct answer 29%. The solid non-living chemicals present in the earth are soil, minerals, stones, fossils and B is the correct answer uh, minerals. To make the things reusable is called recycling. Conservation of resources, care, cycling and A is the correct answer, recycling. An example of non-renewable resources is oil, soil, air, solar energy and the A is the correct answer, oil. Write short answers. What are fossils? About which organisms do they provide information? The imprint or remains of living of old living things are called fossils. It gives us information about age and structure of old buried animals. Why are forests called renewable resources? Forests are unlimited resources which can be replaced after used. That is why the forests are called renewable resources. How does water reach oceans and lakes? Rainwater is added in the rivers and streams. After here, the water flows to lakes and oceans. The snow falling on mountains and glacier also melts and become water. This water also flows to rivers and streams and finally falls into the lakes and oceans. Describe any two advantages and disadvantages of deforestation. First of all, advantages of deforestation. Cutting of trees give us wood of different types for different purposes. Cutting of trees give us space for modern housing societies. Disadvantages of deforestation, cutting of tree cause pollution, deforestation, deforestation cause climate change. Differentiate between renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources, the unlimited resources that can be replaced after used are called renewable resources, for example, air, water, soil, etc non renewable resources the resources that cannot be replaced after used are called non renewable resources constructed response questions we found the skulls of various animals during an excavation how do we know about their feet we know about the feed of animals by knowing the structure of mouth and sequence of their teeth. Jellyfish is soft invertebrate. Can we obtain fossil of jellyfish? No, we cannot obtain fossils of jellyfish. Investigate. Is there anything that is not made from natural resources? Yes, there are many things that are made from artificial sources. Water is a renewable resource. There should be plenty of water for every human being on the earth. But why is it not so? Water is renewable resource, but it is not available for every human because the distribution of water is not uniform on earth. And land is also 29% on earth. Is it possible that we can have more resources than those of the past? 
Yes, we have more energy resources like petrol, natural gas and coal as compared to the past. What are natural resources? The basic material that human get from land, sea and air are called natural resources. How we should use natural resources? There is no substitute for natural resources. If humans do not use their res these resources properly, there is a danger that these will be unavailable unav soon. Right distribution of water on earth's surface. About 97% of water is present on earth is in oceans. The remaining 3% is present in glaciers, rivers, streams and lakes. What is importance of water? All living things need water to survive. We use water for drinking, cooking, washing cloths and dishes. Water is also very important for plants and crops. Write a note on air. Air is very important for the survival of life on earth. Air is present all around the earth surface. It is also present in soil and water due to which living beings can breathe inside soil and water.